Hello there and welcome back to some more Wind Waker. I would like to apologise for the large delay between episodes. This does actually take a lot of time to do. And believe me, Valu shares your frustration. As we go up these quarry stairs, it might not be the best idea to roll up them, as you see I nearly fall off. Whoops. Ah, point of no return, eh? Oh no, these Bacoblins have captured Midley. We better rescue her. And as we hear the dritten noise again, here comes our first real moblin fight. And this guy is a jabby jerk. It might be a good idea not to stand near enemies when they're getting up. Something I fail to learn almost every time with, <laughs> with this moblin. Hold on, Medley. I need some health. And our spoils from the mobbling gives us our first skull necklace. Something we only need 20 of compared to the 40 join pendants we need later. Yep, Ralu seems quite cheesed off about something, doesn't he? Oh yes, real mad. And now the fun can begin! And my favourite part of the grappling hook, at least for these mechanics, the triple wrap. Oh, so satisfying. Huh? 
Now that we're back outside the door to the boss room, we're going straight off left here to go and find the key. I also shortened the video quite a bit more by cutting out most of the grappling hook process from this point on. Of course, the other thing you can do with a grappling hook is target an enemy and pinch their items. <laughs> Suddenly, those 40 joy pendants don't seem so arduous. At this point, is it really any surprise that there's going to be a Bokoblin jumping out of a jar? It's more of a surprise to him when I suddenly hit him up the backside. <laughs> this Bokoblin decides to panic, falls off the bridge, and Link decides to show some mercy by showing none. And he is rewarded for his brutality with a chest. Lovely. Of course we get down there by cutting the ropes on the bridge. And I would like to say it is a good idea just to stand still after you have done so. Once we wake up back inside the room, we get unhelpfully interrupted with some useless information from our boat. Instead of cutting the ropes, I decide to use fire. Unfortunately, my control of Link goes a bit askew and I jump off again. Whoops! That's better, that is how it's supposed to be done. Take note of these water jugs on the way out here as they will be important in just a little while. On the note of how things are supposed to be done, this is how you don't cut these ropes. As we come to this door, I have to speed up uh, who knows how long a bit of footage because I spend a bit too long trying to remember how to open this door. <laughs> Nothing new there then. There it is! I took way too long to find that. And it is accompanied by that satisfying triple wrap. <laughs> And yes, a key started during the cutscene. I don't quite know how. Yep, we can kill Keys with a grappling hook. Good to know. Yep. Yep. 
I can't remember exactly what happened here, but I might have been mistaken in that this mag tower was just in the way, and that all I needed to do was press this button to stop the fire. We in fact need this mag tower to hold the button down. Like so, and we can get our treasure chest. Baski! Now that we have the boss key, we can not only get through that door, but we also unlock a new enemy in the dungeon for some reason. The fire keys. Just give him a grappling hook to the face. After taking these flaming keys out, ha, you'll once again hear a key star in the background. I can only assume it was those falling rocks over there. Yes, there was a cut there, I spent way too long trying to figure out how I'm supposed to continue the dungeon. You could just save and quit at this point and end up back at the entrance, which is where we need to go anyway. But I take the proper route eventually, so we know how to get out of here doing the whole dungeon. Back in this room again, and we have to take out these fire keys, and we can see the lava plume in the background, which is where the water pots come in. And we're finally back in this room. But we're going straight into the pot to go back to the entrance to go and get a chest we couldn't get before. Let's ignore these bokoblins, run out of the room and head off left to this other room. And the one time I get to do my favourite thing, grappling hook sword slam. All the way back here for a treasure chart. See you later guys! <laughs> And with the other fire keys coming at me, it's time to get out of here. Once we're off this gap, let's take care of this magtail like a pro. <clears throat> like a pro. Let's just grab some last second treasure around here before we go in and face the boss. Yeah. 
These two chop jars are important because they contain something valuable. Fairy! And I want to catch this one, even though we don't need it for quite a while, and we can get another one later. Aha, Wolf Fairy! And now, finally, true boss time! Why did I cut to me coming back into this room? Because I messed up. I failed to save outside the room. Got a game over due to this guy being an absolute jerk and my inability to correctly aim the grappling hook. This ended up being my third attempt as the second attempt went as well as the first and I got a little bit frustrated at the lack of the boss doing the things that allowed me to actually beat him. Ugh. Those fights will be in a separate outtake video for your viewing pleasure and to see how <laughs> frustrated I get during the fights. <laughs> And this was a first for me, I've never landed on these platforms at all. That's the hard part done, time to absolutely wreck his face, or I in this case. And done in no time. <laughs> Amazing how quick that bit is. And our first actual heart container from a boss, yay!
the wind god's wind that we already grabbed before we entered the main island we'll have a quick pointless stop at beetles before we go back and talk to the boat And we can't actually get into our boat without first changing the wind direction in the first place. Something I never knew. Enjoy this because it is the only time you'll get to see it. I will be cutting out in the future to save some more time on the episodes. And it is just the same thing anyway. I will do some kind of notification on the screen for which direction the wind is now blowing in case the mini map is not there. So our next destination is to the south and we shall head there next time. I'll see you then.